Hey, welcome in. Well, Elon Musk continues to be one of the most interesting people in the world, definitely one of the most interesting business magnates in the world. And what's he up to now? Well, here's the headline. Elon Musk takes 9.2% stake in Twitter after hinting at shakeup. So it's no secret that Elon Musk is highly critical of uh, Silicon Valley and the big tech oligarchs and their apparent disdain for free speech. And that's something he's been talking about very recently. So he tweeted this, free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorously adheres to this principle? So 70.4% said no, because they just clearly don't adhere to that principle. And then you've got uh, almost 30% saying yes, and these would be the people who think that free speech only applies if uh, you're woke progressive, and that everything uh, that you don't agree with is hate speech. But underneath this, he said, the consequences of this poll will be important. Please vote carefully. So that kind of clues you in that something's in the works. And then the next day he tweeted this, given that Twitter serves as the uh, de facto public town square, Failing to adhere to free speech principles fundamentally undermines democracy. What should be done? And then, is a new platform needed? So this set the uh, internet abuzz, because it kind of sounded like he wanted to start up his own social media platform. And, you know, to my mind, the more platforms, the more legitimate platforms, the better. But obviously, that's not going to happen now. Because I don't think that he's uh, buying a 9.2% stake in Twitter to compete with himself. I doubt that very much. But let's get into this. Uh, Elon Musk took a 9.2% stake in Twitter Inc. to become the platform's biggest shareholder a week after hinting he might shake up the social media industry. Twitter shares surged as much as 27% after Musk's purchase was revealed Monday in a regulatory filing. The gain marked the stock's biggest intraday increase since its first day of trading following the company's 2013 initial public offering. The stake is worth about $2.89 billion. So whatever happens, he just got wealthier. That's one thing. But I have to believe, you know, if he's going in with a $2.89 billion investment, that he's probably got something more on his mind. I mean, he's talked openly about how Twitter is not adhering to the principles of free speech in a democracy. Whether, you know, you can say constitutional republic, whatever, right? But you get the point. Uh, it makes me think that uh, he's got something in mind here. I mean, he he is the largest stockholder. He's going to have a, a seat at the table with Twitter now. He doesn't have controlling interest in it, but he's going to have a seat at the table. They're going to have to listen to him. I mean, whether it'll go in one ear and out the other, that's another question. Because here's the CEO of Twitter, and he doesn't like free speech. And we know this because of things that he said. In a 2018 interview, Agrawal said Twitter should, quote, focus less on thinking about free speech, but thinking about how the times have changed. Uh, Translation, I'm an authoritarian, and you're going to say what I want you to say. You're going to see what I want you to see. And if you don't like it, hey, I'm an authoritarian. You have to do what I say. Here's what an analyst at uh, D.A. Davidson and Co. had to say, quote, given Elon's prior comments about wanting to start a social media company, I would say it's possible that he will increase his stake in Twitter or take a controlling interest in the company sometime soon. So I don't know. I mean, he could just at some point in the future just uh, cash out and take all the profits if, if the profits are there in the future, which is not guaranteed. Now, Elon is obviously the kind of person who, when they set their mind on something, uh, they're not going to be prevented from achieving it. They're going to find a way. So maybe, just maybe, maybe Twitter will get fixed. And again, I'm actually for lots and lots of different platforms. I'm all for that. But Twitter is the biggest of its kind that's out there. I don't use it myself personally because I think it's just a uh, dumpster fire and just a complete waste of time. But maybe I would, maybe I would if it, um, if it were to start respecting principles of free speech. And then perhaps a political and cultural Twitter could stop being just a place where uh, woke journalists virtue signal and uh, Antifa organizes. Anyway, uh, Elon is sure to clash with this guy. Get a load of this uh, tweet from Elon Musk. This is December 1st, 2021. 
Now, this was a famous photo of Joseph Stalin with his head of the secret police. And it was famously altered after uh, the head of the uh, secret police was executed by Stalin. You can see there, that's the CEO of Twitter's head, and that's Jack Dorsey. <laughs> so Elon doesn't think much of this new guy. In fact, he's comparing him to Joseph Stalin. And hey, let's play a game. Can you name two people that don't like free speech? Joseph Stalin and the CEO of Twitter. So what will all this mean in the end? I don't know, but I'm sure interested to find out. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's the audio version. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.